This is Justin Davidson. I'm the architecture critic at New York Magazine. And recently I had the opportunity to visit the World Trade Center site. Uh, it's uh, still a construction site. It's not complete yet, but uh, you can really start to see the building nearing completion. So you're going to be able to walk along this street that didn't exist and go through what seems at first like an ordinary glass curtain wall into a, an ordinary corporate headquarters. But what you find is you're actually going through an enormous, massive, dense concrete wall. The lobby acts as a kind of chamber protected by this exterior blast wall and you come out into a uh, white marble lobby with very high vertical slits for windows and so the light is coming from above. Go into the elevator which are these super fast elevators that you know whisk you up to uh, to your offices on the 65th floor or uh, whatever it may be. You'll be in this light filled vast floor plate. Uh, you really have unimpeded 360 degree views of the entire New York metropolitan area. And uh, the one thing that you can't really see very well unless you kind of press your nose to the glass and look past your shoelaces is the memorial itself. Uh, we actually went down below the building through the transportation hub, pedestrian tunnels, access to the buildings, the path train to New Jersey, and 13 subway lines will all uh, converge. Really, it's going to be a spectacular space. If you've been following the history of this site, is it what it might have been? Is it the architecturally great vision for the future city? No, I don't think so. But it is the restoration of an area that really has to function on many, many different levels. I'm impressed by the way all these different aspects of the site have or are starting to come together.